So here's my fish tank. Just a standard 20 gallon indoor tank. I've got a couple of uh, just warm water tropical fish in there. A um, little red tail shark going in the back and catfish and little sucker fish and then these angel fishes up front here. Um, so this tank has been set up close to a year. Uh, all of the nutrients has been in there. Um, bacteria has been growing. It's been uh, just a really good ecosystem. What I've done indifferent to this one is in the back I have a little uh, pond water pump, submersible water pump that's 80 gallons an hour leading up through a half pipe, a half inch pipe irrigation line going up to uh, a grow bed on top and so this just a ball valve so I can control the water pressure water's coming in through right here and this is just feeding water into my grow bed these are just store-bought onions I've cut off the top and replanted the bottoms and they've started out way down here and uh, three days got a, about an inch of growth on this one here and a couple of growing back there these are two kale seeds that I planted about a week, uh, less than a week ago, maybe Monday, today, Saturday, uh, just on a piece of cotton. Uh, and those are growing really nicely. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, um, like romaine lettuce. Back here, I just uh, did the same thing. Here's two seeds with uh, cilantro seeds growing there uh, and we'll see they've been there for a day two days haven't started anything here's a just a store-bought basil it's about this height not much has grown I put this in here two days ago as well uh, I really just wanted something standing above the top so as you can see we're about three inches from the top here on this uh, just standard $15 planner that I got from uh, Home Depot. The water level is about right here and then the grow bed it goes up to it go, goes up about another inch. Over here this is a debris guard. At the bottom of this debris guard I have a whole bunch of holes drilled. So it looks just like this. These holes are way too big. Um, and so what I ended up doing was just real tiny pinholes and just filled this thing up with uh, real tiny pinholes, this one. Um, and then uh, what I've got, same thing, is uh, just a downspout. And this is part of my bell siphon is what is, this is called. Uh, so water, I don't know if you'll be able to... So you can see in there, I've got a little, it's about five and a half inches, six, close to six inches, uh, piece of tube right here. Water will fill up in this, in here. Once it starts overflowing in the top there, it'll create a suction and the water will actually just keep pressurized and start going down and down until this drains. Once the water gets below where this tube is, air then will come back up to the top and break this siphon. And then the water will refill, drain, air will get in the tube, break the siphon, and just keep circling back and forth. So as you can see here, we're almost ready. So let me go ahead and just get this back on. Sits in just like that. And then that pipe is drilled out of the bottom here. Comes into the back of the fish tank. And then just sits right up there and see. So now it's getting ready to start. It's barely reaching the top now. Give it a couple of seconds here and there it goes. Now it's turned on completely. It's 
draining the water from the top. This is oxygenating the, the water, is giving us a little bit of current. You can see all that. Well, you probably can't see it with the, the air stone in the back, but there's a lot of bubbles and water movement from this. The idea is I want a, a slow fill, so the water is filling up my grow bed. It's taking me about three and a half minutes to fill the grow bed and then a fast drain. So this drain is bringing it out about a, mi a little less than a minute. So give it just a second until it uh, gets ready to pause or, or break the siphon is what it's called. Now, I don't know if you heard that gurgling, but that was the, the siphon breaking. Just went down to Home Depot today, got an actual grow lamp. Uh, I was using just a basic 25 watt CFL bulb. It seemed to work. All the plants were growing towards the CFL bulb, but I uh, wanted an actual grow light. Um, this light's supposed to give off the same raises the sun and more nutrients I guess for the plants so well that's my aquaponic system uh, this technology or way of gardening isn't new it's new to me and uh, thanks for watching